The private central bank of the United States of America has now added over 405 billion fiat Federal Reserve notes to its official balance sheet since the official start of the New York Federal Reserve's repo loan program in middle September 2019. In other words, the Fed is adding over $100 billion to its balance sheet every month on average to close out 2019. At this rate, the Fed's balance sheet will hit new record nominal highs by April of 2020. This week, we're going to dig into the size and scale of the latest data updates on the ongoing repo loan program. As well, we'll put it into further recent financial system repo loan operation expansion context and examine what the repo loan program looked like in size during the Y2K change from 1999 to the year 2000, following September 11, 2001, and the size and scale of the repo loan program expansion the summer leading into Lehman Brothers collapse in October of 2008. Hello out there, this is James Anderson of SD Bullion with our eighth weekly market update for the major precious metals. It's a strong holiday week for all four major precious metal spot prices. Silver took a run at 18 only to fall a few cupro nickel coins short. The silver spot price is closing around 1785 per troy ounce. Gold closes this week strongly at roughly 1515 fiat fed notes per troy ounce. The spot platinum price bounced back this week, gaining about 50 bucks per troy ounce, closing at 950 per troy ounce. The palladium spot price closes just over 1900 per troy ounce. And finally, the gold silver ratio slipped a, a bit, again requiring now about 84 ounces of silver to get one ounce of gold. Turning back to the ongoing New York Federal Reserve repo loan ramp up, our financial Twitter tweet of the week goes to Danielle Lacal, who illustrates using a St. Louis Fred chart, the ongoing size and scale of the repurchase agreement operations ongoing. He writes, new record, US 235 billion in repo intervention. The highest value in 2008 was 133 billion in July 18, 2008, two months before Lehman went bust. But repo market as of today is around 40% smaller than in 2008. Think about this in further context. Although the repo market is now about 40% less in size versus the repo market back in 2008, the nominal volumes of short-term loans now being handed out from the New York Fed to its 24 primary dealer investment banks are close to double the size of their summer 2008 peaks. Let's dig deeper into the Fred chart so you can see even older context. Here is the Y2K precaution the Federal Reserve injected into the repo loan program uh, as concerns about digital computer shutdowns had people worried about a um, financial glitch and financial failure as we rang a new millennium, the year 2000. Then there were uh, repo loan ramp ups following the dot com bubble bust and following the September 11, 2001 tragedy. Uh, finally, there is the summer repo loan ramp from the year 2008 versus the size of the ongoing operations today headed into 2020. Uh, and perhaps in the coming year, we may learn about why banks are again not lending to one another overnight. And maybe. One of them will possibly fail and or perhaps require a bank bail-in, bankruptcy, or other calamity in the global financial markets. But we'll be back in 2020 to report on this ongoing story. As well, we'll break down coming news and events affecting the major precious metals markets. So from all of us here at SD Bullion, we do wish you a very safe and happy holiday season and a wonderful new year and decade to come. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, do that. And finally, be sure to hit the alert button so you don't miss these market updates as they come along. Give us your comments below. Let us know what topics you want to see more coverage on.